In this short demonstration, we would like to show you how Honeycomb PPP and Linux container can be used to interconnect Windows system with web application running in NXT container. Let's go start the Ubuntu virtual machine in headless mode. This is the target virtual machine where we run VPP Honeycomb and the Linux container. Now I will open two PuTTY sessions to Ubuntu VM and I will log in as a sudo user. When we look at running processes, we can see that VPP and Honeycomb are running. They have been launched as services when launching the virtual machine. Now we can list available containers. There is only one and is currently not running. After we launch the container, we can connect to it, navigate to the directory where simple web page is hosted and start simple web server. You can see that the web server is running but currently isn't accessible from the outside world. If we request a web page, we will get no response. It is because the bridge domain isn't configured yet. To configure VPP, we are using Postman to send a request to Honeycomb or RESTConf. First, the test BD bridge domain is created. Next, Gigabit Ethernet is added to the created bridge domain. After this, the host VPP1 interface is created and enabled. Host interface interconnects VPP and the container network namespace. And in the last step, this interface is also added to the bridge domain. Now, when we try to access the web service running in container, we are getting a response. We can also check VPP statistics for interfaces. We can display statistics before requesting the web page. If we display statistics also after reloading web page, we can see increased interface counters on Gigabit Ethernet and the host interface. Thanks for watching.